Look, I, I'm a markets guy. I, I live in capital markets, basically. I mean, yes, I ran Long and Foster, but it was I was running a company, and I I've traded hundreds upon hundreds of billions of dollars of mortgage-backed securities in my day. And um, you guys are on the front doorsteps of what's going to be one of the biggest purchase sprees that this nation has ever seen. And I, I don't think I think people shake their heads when I say this. I'm not. It's not conjecture. It's not guesswork. It's demographics. Um, and I wish I was on a different unit because I'd share the, the picture, but there's, uh, if you take the distribution of all Americans in the United States using Census Bureau data, and so many economists are using this slide, um, they make it themselves, but they all look the same. Um, the peak year, the median age for first time home buyers in this country is age 34. If you look at 34 year olds, if you've got the whole distribution of America, kind of there's a little bubble and then it tails down where older people are aging out. The, uh, the volume of Americans who are coming into age 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, all the way into the mid 20s, it's the biggest bubble of demand that this nation will have ever seen for home buying. Um, and I'm, I, you know, it's, People want to like say, oh, I don't think so or whatever. It, all I do is look at data and data says, uh, we're going to get through this. Why do we feel so bad right now? Because of Powell. Um, you know, the Fed is tightening. Um, it's called quantitative tightening. The Fed's raising rates to slow down an overheated economy. We're almost done. I have three articles. I could send it to you afterwards yeah. from Forbes and uh, Bloomberg. I'm actually writing an article about this now. Um, for a publication, but the the um, we're on the we're on the tail end of of this quantitative tightening. In fact, that when the Fed meets at the end of the month, they're probably only going to raise a quarter. So they they've been going seventy five basis points at a time. Then fifty was the last round. This is likely only going to be a quarter. And then the question is, will they do another one um, uh, at the end of February, early March? I don't. I think they'll be done. Personally, I think the economy has already slowed so dramatically that the data will show that to them. But mark my words, gang, the moment the Fed says QT is over, money is going to flood into the bond markets in the United States. People aren't buying mortgage-backed securities right now, and they're not buying a ton of treasuries because they don't know what yields are going to do. And as long as the Fed's tinkering with yields, there's no confidence. We, we call it a uh, convexity. There's no confidence in the duration of how long any bond's going to stick around or a mortgage-backed security might refinance because rates are going to come down. The moment the Fed announces he's done, uh, Powell announces he's done, then money's going to start flooding into the bond markets. That creates more demand. That means the price of mortgage bonds go up and the yield corresponding yields go down. So just like you've seen rates come down from the 7% highs to around 6 today, wherever they're bumping around, I can assure you, if you look at normalized margins, by the end of the year, we should have rates somewhere around 5.4 to 5.2 based on today's 10-year treasury rate. And you're not going to, and the demographics of demand will be back in and they'll be coming out of the woodwork to buy homes. And you'll be back to the same problem. Many of you are already still there. We never left it. But we'll be back to that same seller's market challenge where there's not enough inventory and that's not a solvable problem. Uh, short run. And, you know, you're going to need to have a non-contingent full price <laughs> uh, <laughs> cash offer or whatever you can put in place to avoid, uh, to wipe away as much of the competition as possible when you put those offers in. So your frustrations around inventory uh, will remain. But yeah. uh, sometimes people try to tell me we're, this is a repeat of 2008. Whoever says that doesn't understand demographics and market and market uh, movers. And it's, a, it's, it's just non-comparison, non-comparison. This is almost over. Second half of this year, we're gonna start seeing an increase in purchase demand. Next year, purchase demand, purchase transactions are gonna be significantly higher than this year and the following year as well. And I could share with you several forecasts from Lawrence Young from NAR or Mike Frattentoni from the NBA or uh, Duncan from Fannie Mae, all these economists, everybody's saying the exact same thing about the market because they know the, the core variables of supply and demand, which is what drives our business.